I think that as educators, as students, as geriatricians, we all have a responsibility to promote geriatrics, but not just geriatrics, caregiving in general for older adults, to newer generations. Why? Because if we do not succeed this transition, the hyperage society, the hyperage period of time we're going to enter is going to be difficult. It's going to be a challenge. We will not be prepared for uh, what is coming. And that is a major issue. For example, uh, and I think the relation with the hyper rate society is interesting, in the US and Europe, a tremendous proportion of caregivers are foreigners. They are immigrants. Now, what will happen when the continents uh, these immigrants are coming from reach age uh, uh, status and stop moving. Who will be the caregivers in the older continents like Europe, uh, Eastern Asia, and Northern Africa? Well, Eastern Asia to a lesser extent. Um, but uh, that is a key issue, and I think we all have that responsibility to ensure that we are prepared, that we are ready uh, to promote. Um, quality caregiving to, to older adults. Uh, and, and I think right now, a lot of caregiving at the medical level is not done by professionals with the adequate training to take care of older people. And that's why I insisted on the word holistic about geriatricians, because there is an understanding of considering the patient as a whole, instead of looking at it from specific um, angles like cardiology or respiratory uh, specializations. Uh, in the case of older adults, the notion of quality of life, notion of uh, the, the multi, uh, the comorbidities of the patient will be taken into account in a far greater way than uh, other medical doctors who are specialized in other areas would. I mean, I guess the other option is to sensibilize the other uh, specialist to a greater extent, but again, there is not a tremendous interest among this population to become more specialized.